Welcome. Uh, it's a real pleasure to have you folks over here. Um, and I believe tomorrow is even supposed to be a sunny day. Um, so there is uh, hopefully some good weather coming up. Uh, I just wanted to briefly uh, thank the people, you know, folks who really kind of uh, organized this uh, meeting, all the logistics and everything. Uh, folks from uh, MNC, Saatchi, Katie Gilbert, please, if you could stand. Katie, uh, uh, Sarah Brown, Tom Bond, uh, Blue Bell, and, uh, and Emma from the Foundation. So, uh, I was in Nigeria until yesterday, so I had nothing to do with the organization. And as a program uh, officer, you kind of want to be in a situation where you just kind of casually saunter in. Uh, and everything has been done. So I'm very grateful to these people to, to have done that. Uh, we've been thinking about this project for some time, Krishna, myself, several others, uh, at the foundation, and I'm really glad that we finally have this opportunity to have a great group of people to discuss it with. Uh, without uh, uh, further ado, I'd like to introduce Krishna Jaffa, Deputy Director in Integrate Delivery, who's been one of my co-conspirators on this and has been uh, really interested in this topic. Thank you. You've really, really helped us along this journey to get to where we are today. Um, so a few years ago, we stepped back and asked, you know, given the foundation's voice convening, modest resources, believe it or not, what is the most useful thing we can do in partnering with experts like yourselves in the behavioral and social sciences? And uh, we decided, because we like evidence and we like sound evidence being applied in decision making, that the, the, the systematic application of, of uh, sound evidence to inform decision making and to speed up so adaptive iteration would probably be the sweet spot for us to engage with yourselves. Um, and I, I think a couple of key reflections that, that experts from amongst yourselves shared with us, one is that um, behavioral interventions um, do need to be dynamic rather than deterministic. They need to be agile. They need to be able to adapt over time. And yet, we're often stuck for a number of reasons because you need to keep project forward momentum going because of cost considerations, and dare I say it, because of donor constraints on what you need to report on, and the short life cycles of donor programs, you typically end up sort of doing formative research, launching a program, and then sticking pretty much to that original blueprint, right? Does that sound familiar to any of you? I'm seeing, I'm seeing a few, few heads nodding, okay. Um, and yet, we ask, what if we could challenge that, uh, the status quo, and what if we could, as a community, come together and say, hey, perhaps we could start trying to develop some tools, recognize already existing tools and approaches, and there are many that, that um, a number of you have developed in trying to shift the paradigm a little bit. So the second uh, um, sort of uh, uh, reflection we had was that, you know, as decision makers, that is all of us in the room, uh, we often struggle to make informed and evidence-based decisions around programming. And uh, this is in part because synthesizing high quality evidence is difficult to do. And it's even more difficult to do in as close to real time as is needed to truly inform um, uh, program iteration and uh, adaptation. So we thought it would be worth uh, 
setting up a community of practice that will focus on testing, on sharing, using tools and practices to enable more responsive feedback and behavioral interventions in the social sciences uh, that allows for agile iteration over the life of the program and that builds continuous improvement in behavioral interventions and social sciences as they're related to health and development outcomes that the foundation is interested in. And I believe that many of these are actually transferable across related worlds, so there's no reason why if a tool is applied in the health space, it can't be applied in financial services for the poor or any other domain like agriculture and so on. So Sohail Aga, whom you know, is a senior program officer for Demand and Behavior Change. Uh, uh, tolerated a lot of iterative sessions with me and worked really, really hard, I think, to pull together a fantastic team uh, of uh, MNC Satri who bring private sector expertise, uh, very deliberate in trying to learn from the private sector because we do recognize that the development world can, can gain a lot um, in, in, in looking at how the private sector, how commercial marketing looks at people interventions. Uh, Harvard University, um, as our academic partner and Dimagi, um, uh, importantly, I think recognizing the, the increasing importance of digital in reaching many of our target populations and the increasing penetration of cell phones and availability of the internet. Uh, to uh, launch a program called The Curve, and uh, I love the logo, I think it's meant to signal being a ninja, something like that. Um, and uh, I think we're very, very deliberate in you know, recognizing that a lot of the leaders in this space are international organizations and we really value those relationships and the hard work that you've done. And yet we also want to crowd in over time uh, local institutions, local partners. So while we are delighted at the response that our, 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 our partners, MNC Sachi and, and, and their team, uh, God, when they reached out to invite you to join this community of practice, and I'm really excited looking around the room to see how many of you actually showed up, uh, despite Seattle being really easy to get to. Um, I think you know what we do want to do is to make this uh, an amplifying network um, that is bringing in more organizations over time, especially as you think about your local partners in country, if you have any suggestions for the Perth team and for Sohail. <laughs> delegating effectively, <laughs> as he does to us, um, uh, we would warmly welcome those suggestions. So we know that we're going to learn through this process. We know that we are putting it upon ourselves to be more agile as donors as well. And uh, we really hope that you are going to help us get smarter along this journey to come out the other end with better sharing, uh, better information synthesis, uh, better use of high quality generation and use of high quality evidence, and ultimately, uh, programs that impact the end user, the caregiver, the healthcare provider, um, the ag agriculture uh, producer, worker, uh, any other end uh, target audience that you may have in mind. And uh, so with that, a very, very warm welcome again to sometimes sunny Seattle. Um, I was actually born in the rainiest part of India, so it doesn't faze me. Uh, but for those of you who come from sunnier times, uh, I hope that Sohail's uh, weather prediction will be accurate. Um, enjoy yourselves, and thank you again.